multiple sclerosis that affects nearly a million people in the U.S. And here to discuss diagnosing and treating MS is Dr. Jason Poon with the Evergreen Health Multiple Sclerosis Center, which is also part of the Eastside Neuroscience Institute. Thank you for being here. So I have to quick question. I know everybody hears about MS. They know what it is, but do they really know what it is? Can you explain how it affects the body and who is at risk? Absolutely, and thank you for having me. Yeah. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder of the brain and spine. That means that the immune system um, makes little lesions or scars in the brain and spine. Mm. And that's very important because the brain and spine are, are involved in everything that we do from um, moving to seeing mm. um, to our ability to think and so forth. Yeah. And so scars that are formed from the immune system is what multiple sclerosis is. And we don't exactly know why that happens. However, we do know there are several risk factors. Mm -hmm. For example, age, people tend to present when they're 30s to 40s. Mm -hmm. Sex, people uh, tend to present in female uh, more than male. Okay. Um, and geography, some patients um, that have before puberty lived in uh, the equator area, they have a much, le much less likelihood of developing multiple sclerosis than in the Pacific Northwest. Really? Yes. And we don't know why. I mean, we can't attribute it to anything specific. I mean, we know the, the temperature and light is different there. But in the Pacific Northwest, the incidents are higher. Yes, yes. And uh, we're not quite sure. But actually, more recently, uh, one of the think thoughts that we have for why multiple sclerosis mm -hmm. develops is this virus called Epstein-Barr virus. And that does have an uh, equatorial relationship as well. Interesting. So what are some of the symptoms someone might experience with MS? You talked about the lesions in the brain and the spine. But what, what are, how does it manifest? It's a great question because almost any neurological symptom can come from multiple sclerosis. However, luckily it does fall within several kind of categories. Mm. Uh, symptoms tend to be more than 24 hours mm -hmm. and uh, we can categorize symptoms into asymmetric, symmetric, and nonspecific or non-focal. Okay. So asymmetric, meaning more on one side of the body. People can present over a few days with weakness mm -hmm. in one side of the body or numbness as well. They can lose vision in one side of, of their visual field versus the other, um, or they can lose coordination. Symmetric symptoms are concerning as well because they tend to involve the spinal cord, but some people can have bend their neck forward and they'll have a shock-like sensation up and down the spine mm. or a vibrational sense. Uh -huh. Um, other patients have um, loss of bowel or bladder control. Mm. Um, Non-focal symptoms um, are alone when they're on their own, don't necessarily indicate MS as much. Mm -hmm. However, we still, still pay attention to them because about 80% of MS patients have these symptoms, but they can be like fatigue or brain fog. Ah. It's very important once you have these symptoms to seek evaluation with your primary care or the emergency room. They're really our first line of defense in detecting multiple sclerosis. That's so important and a lot of us have brain fog or we're tired and we think oh it's no big deal but it's good to share it with your doctor right even your primary. Yep. You also mentioned days or, or, or a time limit. Is, do these symptoms come and go for MS patients? How does that work? Absolutely, they do come and go, but when patients first have their relapse, the typical time course is that they develop symptoms that worsen slowly over the next few days or next few hours, as opposed to like stroke, which happens very quickly okay. in a hyperacute sense. Um, the MS lesions that develop, they, they develop symptoms quite over, over days and mm -hmm. they kind of worsen and they get better over time if we're able to treat it. Okay, so let's talk about treating it. Let's talk about your MS program. If a patient is referred to your program from the ED or PCP, or even in your own exam room, what can they expect? Absolutely, so the first thing that we want to do is confirm the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So we take a history, we understand why they got to us. We also look before that time to make sure we understand what symptoms that patients might have had beforehand. We do an exam, and we of course do an MRI of the brain and spine to understand the lesion okay. and how much they have. We do blood work to understand whether or not it's a multiple sclerosis mimic, and sometimes we have to do a lumbar puncture or a spinal mm, tap. Okay. Once we are able to confirm a diagnosis, we have several FDA-approved treatments, and that's a key point here, is that we have treatments yes. that can slow down multiple sclerosis, or we can treat the number of relapses patients have. 
we're also a comprehensive MS center. Mm -hmm. And that means that we have dedicated personnel to be able to treat patients and their symptoms as they come. So we have physical therapists that can help with um, weakness. We have a dedicated psychologist in order to help with brain fog as well as adjusting to multiple sclerosis. We have a dedicated social worker we have amazing. physical and social, yeah. like mental health, physical health, because it Absolutely. affects everyone. Before I let you go, can I just ask, is there anything else you'd like to share with everyone out there about dealing with this or getting checked out or coming to the center? Absolutely. Evergreen Health has developed a network of doctors to be able to detect MS early. Mm -hmm. And MS patients are at the heart of everything we do. We take yeah. all the necessary measures to be able to provide the support and care at our Evergreen Health MS Center. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for sharing all this with us today. It has Thank been you. really enlightening to, to learn a little bit more about what's happening and what we can do to, to help. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Poon. All right, well, to learn more about what we discussed today with Evergreen Health and the Eastside Neuroscience Institute, just visit the website on your screen. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Evergreen Health.